For my girls and guys that are renting or living in a dorm room and still want to have their own vanity light mirror without costing a fortune and you don't want to screw anything in the wall because you're not allowed to, I'll show you guys how to create your own vanity light bars into a plug-in and also convert it into a wireless remote like that pretty awesome and i get amazing lighting i love these light bulbs which i'll have in the description down below so make sure to check all that out and if you do create this hashtag lisa polano diy so i can put it on my newest creation which is these pin boards and i'll show you guys how to do that in the next video too Let's begin. You're going to shop for the perfect mirror that you were looking for before deciding on the right vanity light bar. I picked this. Don't forget some globe light bulbs. I like this because it gives natural daylight, an extension cord that will reach your outlet, and also a pair of scissors. If you can't screw things to the wall, use these large picture hanging strips. They work wonderful. For my mirror, I decided to use two vanity light bars on each side, so I need an outlet adapter. And also picked up this remote lamp control to make this wireless to turn on and off the lights. Definitely made my life easier getting ready. So you're going to open up your box and with the vanity light bar, you grab two end caps, those orange little thingies. In the back, there are three wires that are exposed, which is a copper wire and a black and white wire will be attached to my extension cord. My aim is to hide the wires inside of this, so I'm going to take out the light socket holders that keeps the shiny frame in place and thread those wires back inside. So we're going to convert this into a plug-in to make it easy for anyone to do. You're going to cut off the extension cord plug. Now you see these two wires, feel them. One side is going to have a raised rigid side, which is called the white cord. On the other side, when you feel it, it's really smooth. So that's going to be your black cord. Split the cord in half, at least about three to four inches. And now you're going to gently use your scissors to cut through the cord cover only, not the wires. You want that wires to be exposed. So I pull that tubing cover off with the pair of scissors or my fingers. Now you're going to attach the extension cord to the vanity light wires. Remember, the raised rigid side is going to connect to the white wire and while the smooth side of that cord going to connect to the black wire like with like. Okay, remember when I told you to save those orange end caps? These are very important. Use these to insert the exposed wires into them because you don't want the black and white wires to touch each other because it will create a spark and maybe fire so make sure to have those tightly wound and i use the copper wire to tie up the wires inside and to test this out put in your light bulbs and plug it in now you have to comment below and how awesome that was because you're kind of like an electrician now if you get tired of plugging into your outlet to turn on your lights just use a wireless remote like that and if you're going to install more than one of these vanity light bars Use these outlet adapters to hook up into the plug-in receiver. On each corner, I place those Velcro stickers and place it to my wall. So this is how it will look if you can't thread your wire through the wall. So decorate, it's a great way to hide those wires or wrap it around the mirror, which I got for $20 at Lowe's too. And it comes in different size and shape and styles that you like. You'll find so many different designs to create your own Hollywood vanity light mirror like I did. It's quick and easy to do. If you do update your vanity area, please, please take a picture so I can give you a shout out and also frame it onto my wall. If you wanna see a tour of how I store my makeup, make sure to comment below and be inspired.